Hey, this is Alec, and I'm above the Hanawakoa Flower Fair. Once a year, Harawakoa comes out for a big party, and it's the Harawakoa Flower Festival. It originates back with the Japanese immigrants, but Harawakoa has always been well known for its flowers. Due to its mild climate, Harawakoa became one of the central points for growing flowers that aren't as common in other places on the island. This fact, plus the Japanese immigration in the 50s that encouraged the growing and exporting of flowers, turned Harawakoa into the pivotal point for anything that grows with more colors than just green. The event lasts four days, usually towards the end of June. It always sets up somewhere around the Harawakoa Avenue. So what can you do here? Well, besides buying flowers at special offers, you can indulge in just enjoying a stroll through what we'll call a tiny state fair. For the most part, the festival is visited by Dominicans, but you will also see the odd foreigner. They're easy to spot, especially if they're Americans. They're pretty much the only ones wearing shorts. You can eat, buy artisanal decorations, jewelry, various exhibitions, enjoy free coffee and free concerts. During the day, there are presentations by local artists and in the evening, more nationally known artists show up for a few sets of their more popular songs. Dancing is optional. There's a cover charge of 10 pesos per day, which is about 20 cents. <laughs> I know, right? Saturdays has the Flower Parade, an event that also features, well, besides floats and bands and cheerleaders and the royal waving of the queen of the festival. I mean, seriously, what is that? You'll get to see Harbacoa's second indulgence, horses. People come from all over the island joining in the cavalgada, a cavalcade or procession of horsemen, along the Harbacoa Avenue. You'll get to see several million dollars worth of Pasofino horses riding down the street. That in itself is quite the impressive show. I mean, most of us can imagine a car worth being a million bucks, but a horse? Wow. Now, granted, by most standards, the Harbacoa Flower Fair is kind of small. But then again, Harabakoa is still a village aspiring to become a town. It has no industry, but does rely almost entirely on agriculture, exporting vegetables, coffee, and, well, flowers. The festival has only been going on for about six years, but it has been growing consistently. It has what you would call a small town shop. So if you're in town around June and you got an afternoon to spare, swing by. Okay, a few final thoughts before you come to the fair. Remember, Saturday and Sunday are the two best days to show up. Especially in the afternoon, because in the morning, uh... Yeah. And in the evenings, might even be best. That's when the party really gets going. Which lasts all the way up until like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Different types of musicians have come to perform. And on Saturday afternoon, there's also the big parades. And, uh, well, hope you're having a good time. Alec, over and out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more, click over here. And if you want to subscribe, click over here. And if you want to see the sunset, you're going to have to click on me. Come on, come on. Uh uh. Uh uh. You can't do it. Uh uh. Uh uh. uh, -uh. Oh, oh, oh. Right on the nose. Oh, I don't know, fair. Oh, oh, oh. Stupid mouse. Oh.